Hello, my name is Lisa, and I really like to eat. No, I love to eat. So I decided I wanted to challenge myself to spend the whole day eating like a different nationality each week and share my experience with you guys. But before I start this adventure, I thought it was very important to start right here, where I'm from. And I don't know if you can tell from our small famous peeing statue, but I'm from Belgium. Belgium is mostly known for their chocolate, beer, waffles and fries. Yeah, we have some pretty delicious food. So I want to spend a whole day eating like a Belgian person. Obviously, everybody eats differently, but I'm going to show you the most popular dishes and include the recipe of our national dish. So let's go! Yes! It's my favorite meal of the day. But what is Belgian breakfast? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bruh. There isn't really any. But on Sundays, a lot of people buy pastries like croissants, pain au chocolat, or my personal favorite, crème cook. It's basically puff pastry with custard in it. It's mind blowing. It's Sunday. So, <laughs> perfect day to go outside and buy some fresh pastry. The only downside is I have to go to the bakery now and uh, it never snows in Belgium. But today of all days, it's snowing. I am not very excited to go outside. Uh, dress, put a jacket on and go. By the way, I also have the best um, mask. It has little donuts on it. Okay, now let's go. Mm. The art of eating this is eating it without making a mess. It's everything you want. It's like crispy on the outside and then like smooth and sweet and like soft on the inside. It's a good sugar mustache. I wonder how do people make thumbnails? I like they always look super shocked like <laughs> I don't want this to end though. Last bite of heaven. <laughs> it's so good. I, I keep on saying it's good, like it's gonna change anything, but it's 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 amazing. So yeah, that was breakfast. It was a big success, obviously. I know these foods. Maybe it was <laughs> the best idea to start with my own country because it's like rating food I've already eaten, but I mean, I don't mind. It's an excuse to eat all this unhealthy food. And um, I'll see you again at lunch. Bye. <laughs>completely forgot to buy anything for lunch when I went to the supermarket the day before so I actually had to go outside again in the freezing cold on a Sunday looking for a store that was actually open it's time for lunch I am excited to eat again if for lunch it's something very, very simple. I bought a really, really, really Belgian bread topping. I don't know how to say it. Bread. I can't come up with the words. But I bought a very... I can't come up with the word. What do you put on bread? Anyway, what do Belgians eat on their sandwiches? Basically, it's either cheese or American. Don't get fooled by the name, it has nothing to do with Americans. It's raw beef and then they put a bunch of spices in there and an egg as well. Basically raw meat. <laughs> There's this uh, also this thing, you cannot leave this out of the fridge for too long. You spread it on your bread and you put it immediately back in the fridge because <laughs> otherwise you die. <laughs> so, let's make a sandwich.
immediately after I make those into the fridge. Oh, I also have some soup. That's lunch. A raw meat sandwich. Mm. The color is a little bit weird. It's like fluorescent orange red kind of. Also, I think most Belgians put way more in it. In the sandwich shops, they put it on your sandwich with a spoon, not with a knife. It's like raw meat, but it's so delicious. They put so much spices in there that it tastes amazing. Is this sandwich good? If the question is, is it good for you? No, it's not good for you. <laughs> but is it good? It's absolutely delicious. The first time you eat it, you might be like, mm, this is raw meat, it's a little bit weird. But once you get used to the texture, you will really like it because they spice the meat so well that it's... I mean, amazing. This is also something, it's like a hit or miss. You either really love it or you absolutely hate it. But I really love it. So I'm gonna finish this and then I will see you for snack. Perfect. Perfect. It's snack time. Let's do a little snack break dance. Okay, I actually forgot to film Belgian snacks. Girl, what didn't you forget for this video? And they're so good, so I decided to film it the next day. Usually when I eat snacks, it's sweet. Let me show you. This is my sweet department. There's two things we really eat a lot. One of them is speculoos. It's like a biscuit. And the only thing I can compare it to is gingerbread, but it's way better. And it's like sweeter. It has like the strongest cinnamon flavor. You cannot eat this without coffee. This is 10 times better once you dunk it in a coffee. And then the second thing, waffles. And we also have different kinds of waffles. Obviously, these aren't freshly made waffles. You have these places everywhere in Brussels where they sell hot, fresh waffles. We don't go there every single day, so we have these. So you can have them as a snack. Let's eat, but first, the most important thing is we need coffee. Let's go. Inside secret, nobody knows. I'm gonna eat this waffle, but before I eat it, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. And let me tell you, those 10 seconds make this way better. A few moments later. Let me show you why I microwave it. It's like softer now. And the chocolate is melted. Let's take a, a bite. Oh, mm. oh my God. If you don't heat it, it's okay. But if you put it in a microwave, it turns into this soft, soft pillow, which is so sweet. It's the best thing. Okay, now let's try speculoos. This is what it looks like. You need to dunk it in the coffee. So I'm gonna like, whoop. And then you, mm. this is also really good. It's super sweet. And like for me, in my opinion, it's the best thing that goes along in coffee. You can buy Biscoff, I think almost anywhere, but I'm not sure. So let me know if you can buy these sweets in your country or not. I'm really curious. That was it for the snack department. The next one will be dinner. So I'll see you, I guess at dinner, bye. Hello, it's dinner time. I really want to pretend like it's the same day and I'm like, I'm excited for dinner. But uh, obviously this is shot during editing and uh, I mean, I couldn't really pretend because my hair is short now. And uh, why is this filmed way later? Uh, basically because I suck at making videos. I don't know if you noticed, but this is my first video. <laughs> what? Her first video? But it's amazing.
Anyway, so what is Belgian dinner? For Belgian dinner, we are gonna be eating carbonara. And carbonara is basically a meat stew. It's beef and you have to cook it for a very long time. It's made with beer and mustard and some other ingredients. I will teach you how to make it in a second. But I'm super lucky because my dad is really good at making carbonara. My dad is one of those guys who has like five dishes he's really good at making and he makes those like all the time so he teached me how to make it and then two days later i made it myself so i ate a lot of carbonara in one week so how do you make it cue the video you want to make carbonara here's what you will need butter 500 grams of beef one onion mustard one brown beer penny piece paper cook or if you're not from belgium just use bread honey, sugar, bay leaf, and lastly, thyme. Step one. First we start by cutting an onion. Step two. Now what you're gonna need, a pan, but you also need like a pot. We put butter in both pans. Then we will need our meat, the onions, Yes, yes. The onions are definitely cooking because I'm crying. But, oh my god. So we're gonna cook the meat. Now you have to look, because you can't cook this meat through. We only have to make sure that there's no red anymore. Can you see it's already changing color? Okay. Step three. We're gonna put this beer in this pan where we cooked our meat to get all the residual butter. Okay, and now all the rest of the beer goes into the carbonara. Here in here. Step four. So we put in some thyme and some bay leaves. Now we're gonna add paper cook. I don't think you can buy this anywhere else except Belgium and the Netherlands maybe, maybe in France. So if you don't have this, just use regular bread. I'm gonna crumble this and put it in here. But if you are using bread, you should spread mustard on the bread and then put it on here in the end. So just mix that all in. Step five. We are gonna add a spoon of mustard, like a generous amount. So we're gonna add some honey. So I would say like one tablespoon. And then my dad also adds sugar to it. One overflowing teaspoon. Okay, I think this is looking good. It's looking like my dad's a little bit. Step six. Can you see that it's 520? So I'm gonna put this on low heat and just let it be here. Let's wait an hour, come back and see how it looks. See you in an hour. Waiting for an hour is quite a while actually, so I had to keep myself busy, so I did some dancing, actually ate some cornflakes, because I was quite hungry, and yeah, it was a long time, and then I had to taste it, and the meat was too hard, so then I had to wait a little more, and then one hour became two, and then eventually it cooked for two hours and a half. So now we should finally be done with your carbonara. The only thing you need now is fries. Obviously, I mean, come on, guys. We all know fries are not French. They're Belgian. And a really big amount of mayonnaise. And you're done. Okay, let's just eat this. How good does this look? Let's take a first bite. Mmm, this is amazing. The sauce is incredible because it's like sweet and hearty. This is my heaven, like, mmm. Mmm. So, needless to say, I really enjoyed that carbonara. You guys should definitely try and make it at home. It's amazing. It's a definite recommend. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know there's some mistakes in there. I'm so sorry for that. But I'm hoping you'll join me next week and the week after that because I'm gonna be doing so much more. I'm gonna be doing different countries and food I've never eaten before. So I'm really excited. So please subscribe. And if you're wondering why I have three different hairstyles in one video, follow me on Instagram. I share way too much on there. So that's the end of it. And bye.